Hello everyone, this is David for Studio One Expert. In this video I would like to show you how you can use any EQ plugin in Studio One 3 to act in mid-side mode. Now, this video is kind of a follow-up to my video about the splitter, so if you don't know what the splitter is and haven't used it at all before, you can watch my video about the splitter on our channel here. Just pause this video, go and watch it, we'll wait for you. Okay, welcome back. So, Many people have requested from PreSonus that they add a mid-side functionality to the Pro EQ. Well, they haven't done that, they have done something much better, namely introduced the splitter to Studio One 3, which of course, after watching my amazing video, now you know everything about. And we will use the splitter to create a chain which will enable us to use any EQ plugin in mid-side mode. So the first thing we need to do is insert the Mix Tool plugin and select here MS Transform. Then we go to our routing page and I'll hit this tiny icon here above so that the page always op uh, remains open because normally if you double click here then the routing page closes so this is convenient. And now we insert the splitter after the mix tool and select on the left channel split which as you know normally is left and right but because now we have the mix tool inserted which with the MS option, splits the left and right signal to mid and side. The technically more correct terms are actually sum and different signal, but everybody uses mid and side these days, so I will stick to these terms as well here. The next step is to copy the mix tool one time. Uh, you can hold on Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and just drag it here. And it gets copied with the same setting with the uh, MS transform option checked. And this transforms our signal back into a normal stereo signal. Now, there is one more thing to do. If you have a listen here, this is a mix I'm working on. If I switch off this whole chain, the volume changes. It changes quite a bit, so to compensate for that, in the last mix tool, I will raise the gain by 6 dB, and now we will have the gain matched before and uh, after the split. Without with. So now we have no volume change. That's exactly what we want. So now we can listen to just the mid or the side of the signal. If you click here, we can mute one of the sides. So now we are listening just to the mid. And this is just the side. And both together. Great, so the next step is to insert our EQs we'd like to use. I will use the Pro EQ, just because it comes with Studio One. It got inserted here, but we actually want it to be here, so we just drag it over. And we copy it, just like before the Mix tool, hold down Alt or Option, and we have two Pro EQs. We can rename them here to get a better overview. I will name this Mid EQ. And let's rename this to side EQ. Wonderful. So this is basically it. We have created an effects chain which lets us use the Pro EQ in mid side mode. We can now store this chain as an FX chain preset and call it mid side EQ. And whenever we need this, I will remove this whole chain here. If you now open the browser and go to the effects chains, here it is, mid side EQ, we can just grab it, drop it on the track, and we will have the same routing as we had before. So this is where the fun starts. Let me open both EQs and pin it on the screen so we can see both. We don't need this now. So on the left we have the EQ for the mid, on the right we have the side. And now we could, for example, boost the lows just, just in the mids. On the sides we could do the opposite, we could cut the high frequency content, which is quite commonly done in mastering, to focus the low frequency content just on the mid. And we could, for example, boost the heights a little bit just on the sides. 
this out with and what's very cool now that you can simply use the output gain knobs of the EQs to act like volume controls for the mid and the sides so you can decrease the mids here or increase them same with the sides, we can boost the sides a little bit to increase the stereo, uh, the stereo width. Again, without. With. Cool. So, of course, we are not limited to the Pro EQs. We can now uh, open our routing page, open the browser again and grab something else. So, for example, I could replace um, the MIDI queue with this third-party plugin, drag it here, then I use this Waves API for the sides, and now we have the Chroma HLS for the mids and an APQ for the sides. And we can do the same trick what we did before. Let's boost only the mids, uh, the, let's boost the lows only in the mids a little bit. Then let's cut the lows in the sides and boost the highs. And we can increase the volume of the sides a little bit. Without. And with. Of course, we can also uh, save this configuration or again as an FX chain preset and with any EQs you want. And this is how you can use any EQ in Studio One 3 in mid-side mode. Thanks for watching. I've been David. See you soon. Bye-bye.